Hi, sweets, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in again. If the first time that you are here, my name is Yancy. I'm a professional makeup artist, and also I'm a nail technician. And today I'm reviewing the So Jaded palette. This is in collaboration with Kathleen Likes for ColourPop. It's not the first time that I have used a collab from Kathleen Lights. The other two were the Zodiac and I don't remember the name of the other palette. No, I don't remember the name of the other palette, but regardless, it was the first palette that she put through with ColourPop, then it came the Zodiac and then she did um, loose pigment and some small collections that were in the um, Super Shock, yeah, in the Super Shock um, format, which are the single eyeshadows that ColourPop works. But besides that point, I did three looks with the palette. I'm gonna give you my impressions first and then we're gonna go for the looks. I really like the palette. Every matte that I used, it was really, really good. Some were a lot more pressed than other, but regardless, they brought a lot of pigment, a lot of opacity. They were pretty much easy to blend. They, I didn't put a lot of effort to blending the shadows, but you have a little bit of kick up in the pan, so make sure to tap the excess of your brush before placing it in your leads, especially if you are in the learning curve. If you are a little bit more pro in your blending, you won't have any trouble just applying it. Also, I always prime my leads, either I use a concealer or I use an eyeshadow primer and for today I use the same eyeshadow primer for all the eye looks. This is a 30 eyeshadow palette. When she was creating this eyeshadow she said that she got inspired by gems, especially birthstones. So that's why all the names in the palette reflect a either a gem or a birthstone. This is the color story of the palette, really colorful, Tur turns towards more the warm side. You have a couple of neutrals and you have a couple of cool tones, but mostly they are towards the warmer side. You have one super shock shadow here, which is diamond, is really, really, really nice. And this is how the actual packaging of the palette looks. And in the back of it, you have all the names of each one of the eyeshadow that you have there. The Unicar reflects as well the same thing as the actual palette. Let's just go through the eye looks. For the eye looks that you're gonna see, in both eyes I use the Milani eyeshadow primer as a base. And for my eyebrows, I went with the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil, Brow Boss Gel. And to highlight my brow bone or to clean up my brows, I use what I always use, the Soreme Brow Lift. For my right eye, I went with Geodude, Chameleon, Jade, Emerald, and Pearl. In my left eye, I use Rose Quartz, Ametrine, Garnet, Moonstone, Amethyst, and Alexandrite. I'm not sure if that is correctly pronounced, but I think how it is pronounced. I didn't have any problem at all with any of the eyeshadows that I chose. As I said previously, they, all the mattes, I had to make sure to tap the exit because I always do my base before I do my eyes. I like to do my makeup routine that way. So yes, I have to be really careful with it. But if you aren't doing your base before your eyes, you won't need to be as careful as I'm always am with the process of doing my eyes. Also, the metallics, really nice. They pack a punch. They are really easy to use and you don't have to, to keep on building a layer on top of the other one because they really are good. They have a lot of opacity and they have a lot of color payoff. The only thing that you will need to make sure is to blend the edges before finishing your entire eye look. 
Also, for both of the eye look, I went with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which is the same mascara that I'm wearing today. And for the lips, I went with the Too Faced High Shine in the shade Crazy Rich. I thought it was the better choice for both of the eye looks that I went. It's just a gloss, a really nice gloss, a really high price gloss. So, yeah. And now for today's look, which is the one that you're gonna see right now. With the shade Rose Quartz, I'm gonna use this Elizabeth Mott Taper Blending Brush and I'm going to apply it on top of my natural crease. I have already prepped my lid with my Milani Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm getting what I have left over in my brush into my eyebrow just to widen up a little more my eye. And I'm blending it in circular motions. And what I have left over in my brush, I'm gonna work it towards my lash line. I'm gonna use this large shader from Luxy and I'm gonna go to the shade Geodude and I'm gonna place it in my outer corner. All of the shades that I have been using so far are matte shades, so they have a little bit of kick up in the pan. So make sure to tap the excess of your brush before you start applying it to your eye. I place this eyeshadow in the last third of my eye, really close to my lash line, and up to my crease in tapping motions like so. Now to intensify this look, I'm gonna go to the shade Stone with this all over brush from Moda. Also, this is another matte shade and I'm going to apply it just in my outer corner and take a little bit of advantage of the shape of this brush. It's a little bit stiff by the way, so you have to make sure to be careful with how much eyeshadow you place in the actual brush. See, with just one tap of the brush in the eyeshadow, look how intense I got my outer corner. I didn't have to do much of a blending. I'm going to switch brushes to this smudger one. This is from the line SL Miss Glam. And I'm gonna stick to the shade Stone, which is a really dark chocolate brown. And I will try to smudge this into my lash line, just in the outer portion of my eyelid. Why? Because I have hooded eyes, as I have said, so many times in previous videos and I have to help myself to lift my eye a little bit. I have this brush in my hand and I'm going to place this same color in the outer part of my bottom lashes. Being really careful to just place it on top of my bottom lashes in the half of them. I'm gonna take with my ring finger a little bit of the shade Moonstone and this one I'm gonna place it in the rest of my mobile lead. I really like this shade. It could be also an eyeshadow topper. Now I'm gonna go to the first brush that I use, the Elizabeth Moth. I'm gonna clean or take away the excess of it and I'm just going to blend every edge of every eyeshadow that I place in my eye just to make sure that I don't have any hard edges, that everything is well blend. I didn't notice at first, but now since the sun is really hitting my face, um, this shadow has little specks of glitter, blue glitter. Really, really beautiful. On the pan, you can appreciate that. In the lead, very nice, very, very, very nice. I like it a lot. I was giving it a lot of thought if I use either Aquamarine, which is this really light blue, or this one named Turquoise. 
but now that I have seen that this shade has that really nice detail I'm going to use them so if by any chance you are going to do something like this you can leave it at this point put a little bit of mascara and you will be good to go but I want to really try how this will look I'm going to take a little bit of turquoise which is the matte blue shade in a pencil brush and I'm going to apply it in the rest of my bottom lashes the ColourPop E10 brush for the rest of my bottom lashes which is the part really near my inner corner or my tear duct I'm gonna use the aquamarine shade which was the light blue another really really nice shade applying it also in the inner part of my top inner corner now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara and I'm not gonna apply falsies so I'm gonna just leave it like this and for lips I'm gonna use the combo that I really enjoy lately it is firstly I'm gonna start with my Steve Laurent this is the lip liner in the shade chic now my cupid's bow and now my slides I'm gonna use this lipstick this is from the house of Siage. this is the diamond powder lipstick in the shade night sweet this is it. this is the final and third look that i did with the color pop so jaded in collab with kathleen light this one offers you a lot but a lot of things and different looks as in maybe it could be really travel friendly because it doesn't weigh a lot it is in this in the cardboard packaging it doesn't have a mirror but i'm more than sure that you will be at some place that probably you will have a mirror so you won't miss not having one here but I really, really love and enjoy the palette. So far, all the shadows that I did use, they work perfectly. I didn't use any other press glitter, so I can vouch for them, but just apply a little bit of concealer or a glitter glue and you will be good to go. If you are afraid of using glitter in your eyes, just keep those two from a 30 eyeshadow pen palette so you are not missing a lot from them the metallics are great the satins are great this palette has one shadow which is a matte with small speck of glitters in it and it works wonderfully it looks so 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 nice and so amazing i use that one the name of that shadow is ametrine i think that if you have this one technically you will only need a a little bit more towards a cool tone palette but regardless we have one two I think um, like three or four eyeshadows here that turns a little bit towards the cool tone side but regardless you can use it either for a casual look as I did for myself today or you can really turn the notch up and work a really colorful or a night out I look so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so I really appreciate it and if you want to get notified every time I upload a video press the notifications bell and I will see you in the next one bye